Hachette Audio presents Midnight Sun Written by Stephanie Meyer Read by Jake Abel This book is dedicated to all the readers who have been such a happy part of my life for the last 15 years. When we first met, many of you were young teenagers with bright, beautiful eyes full of dreams for the future. I hope that in the years that have passed, you've all found your dreams and that the reality of them was even better than you'd hoped. Chapter 1. First Sight this was the time of day when I most wished I were able to sleep. High school. Or was purgatory the right word? If there were any way to atone for my sins, this ought to count toward the tally in some measure. The tedium was not something I grew used to. Every day seemed more impossibly monotonous than the last. Perhaps this could even be considered my form of sleep, if sleep was defined as the inert state between active periods. I stared at the cracks running through the plaster in the far corner of the cafeteria, imagining patterns into them that were not there. It was one way to tune out the voices that babbled like the gush of a river inside my head. Several hundred of these voices I ignored out of boredom. When it came to the human mind, I'd heard it all before and then some. Today, all thoughts were consumed with the trivial drama of a new addition to the small student body, it took so little to work them up. I'd seen the new face repeated in thought after thought from every angle. Just an ordinary human girl. The excitement over her arrival was tiresomely predictable. It was the same reaction as one would get from flashing a shiny object at a group of toddlers. Half the sheep-like males were already imagining themselves infatuated with her. Just because she was something new to look at, I tried harder to tune them out. Only four voices did I block out of courtesy, rather than distaste. My family, my two brothers and two sisters, who were so used to the lack of privacy in my presence that they rarely worried about it. I gave them what I could. I tried not to listen, 